Here's a real simple video that uh, kind of illustrates how to replace the failed fuse on a Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Here. Unfortunately, it's not a matter of if this fuse will fail, it's, a, it's when this fuse will fail. We're down in Florida on our first camping trip with this trailer. Everything seemed to be going fairly well other than a few minor problems and came into the trailer one day and the light on the, in the refrigerator was off. First, you got to remove the refrigerator, which is not an easy task. You got to kind of wiggle it out, set it on the floor on a towel, and remove the back panel. Forgot to mention before you do any of this, make sure you remove the fuse from the converter box to make sure there's no 12 volt power going to the refrigerator. Now, looking at the back side of the refrigerator on the lower left side, you'll see a zip tie holding a bunch of wires together. The red wire inside that bundle is the wire that has the old uh, inline fuse holder. Now just clip that zip tie and very carefully pull that red wire out so to expose the existing uh, fuse holder. Once you have the fuse holder exposed, just unthread it and pull out the old fuse. This is what the fuse looks like. Mine was burnt. Now put the 20 amp fuse back in the converter box very carefully, get a test light and make sure you have uh, power at the refrigerator. Now the materials that you will need include a 30 amp rated 12 gauge uh, inline automotive blade sty style uh, fuse holder. I bought 12 feet of 12 gauge primary wire and I bought a box of uh, butt connectors. I had to also buy the crimping tool to make sure that the butt connectors were very tight. I just used the standard 15 amp fuse. The uh, glass fuse that was in it was a 15 amp. At this point you want to cut your 12 gauge primary wire, the red wire, into two 28 inch lengths. Now with your two 28 inch primary wires, strip about a just under a centimeter of insulation off of each of the four ends of the primary wire. Very carefully crimp the two 28 inch primary wires onto the ends of the fuse holder. Make sure they're tight. Wrap the connections at the fuse holder with electrical tape and make sure they're nice and tight. At this point you have a complete assembly of a fuse holder with two 28 inch primary wires attached. Now you want to put the fuse holder assembly in from the front of the refrigerator with the two bare ends going towards the back of the refrigerator. Now you'll need to get those wires from the vent channel going to the front of the refrigerator through the bulkhead that houses the little uh, computer style fan venting the uh, compressor area. I just used a 3 drill bit and put a hole in that uh, bulkhead next to the cooling fan to route the wires away from the cooling fan. I also used a chainsaw file to clean up the edges of the hole that I put in the bulkhead. Now you want to go to the old fuse holder, the red wires, and expose as much of the red wire as possible coming out of the back of the refrigerator. Be careful not to pull too hard, uh, but you want to get as much wire to work with as possible. Very carefully snip off the two old fuse holder ends. Strip the insulation off of the two wires coming out of the refrigerator at just under one centimeter. Make sure you have a nice tight bundle of wires, twist them. Install the 12 gauge butt connectors on the two 28 inch wires coming from the vent channel at the front of the refrigerator. Wrap those connections with electrical tape so there's no possibility that moisture can, can get in there. Now insert the bare ends of the wires coming out of the refrigerator, the red wires, into the two butt connectors. It doesn't matter which one goes into which because all you're doing is completing the circuit through the fuse. Crimp those connections to the wires coming out of the back of the refrigerator to your two 28 inch leads. Make sure all your connections are wrapped securely with electrical tape. This is the view of the new fuse holder from the front of the refrigerator looking into the vent channel down at the bottom of the refrigerator. The 28 inch leads will give you plenty of room to remove that fuse in the future if you need to replace it. This is what the new fuse holder wired into the refrigerator looks like from the back of the refrigerator. At this point you're ready to test your repair. Put the 20 amp fuse back into your converter box to send power back to your refrigerator. Open the refrigerator door and the LED lights should now be illuminated. 
At this point you'll want to go into the refrigerator and turn the thermostat control to the on position. Go down and make sure that the motor is running. If the motor is running, you're successful. Go back to the converter panel, remove that 20 amp fuse, and get ready to reinstall the refrigerator. When you're reinstalling the refrigerator, make sure you don't bind any of the wires with the refrigerator while you're pushing the refrigerator in. Reinstall the 20 amp fuse in the converter box. Once you have the refrigerator reinstalled, turn the thermostat up, let the motor run, and cool down the refrigerator. It will take a couple of hours to get it down to about 50 degrees.